Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be covering and explaining all of Mongrel's recently updated settings, keybinds and peripherals for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. That's right guys, in this video today, I'll literally be going over everything regarding Mongrel's setup, from some recent updates slash changes, like his new god sensitivity change. Oh chat, yeah, you guys probably don't know this. <laughs> I just showed my little sense though. To his new mouse pad change. So I like this mouse pad so much. I don't know. It feels like it's never gonna get like old. To even covering all of his audio settings that he's currently using. <laughs> the custom crosshair he uses. And then as well as some advanced keybind tricks that he uses in game two, like the spam crouching. And the double movement binds. All of that stuff right there guys, and much much more, like the evolution of the setup as well by the way, all of that right there guys will be covered in this video, and if you would like to skip to a certain part or element of the video, then you can, here are all of the timestamps on screen. Also, before we do start guys, I do just want to quickly say that if you do go to find this video helpful in any sort of way, then be sure to 1. Like the video, 2. Subscribe to the channel, and then 3. Use code CODELIFE, or code mongrel in the fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins, wraps or anything else. By doing that you'll be helping us both out a ton and we both would really really appreciate it. And yeah, let's now go ahead and jump straight into the video by firstly checking out mongrel's updated fortnite settings, starting off with his video settings first. Okay guys, so for the first one, that's his display options, he's got his windowed mode set to full screen, his resolution is on the default one, that's 1920 by 1080 his frame rate limit cap is set to 240 FPS in order to match his monitor's refresh rate, which that right there is on 240Hz. For his graphics options, Mongrel's brightness is currently set at 85%, which yes, by the way, that did recently get changed. His user interface contrast is on the default setting, that's 1x. And then for his colorblind mode, that was recently changed too, as well as what his brightness was. That was previously set at Deuteronope 10. However, because of the whole season 4 colorblind nerfs, yes, I'm mainly talking about the huge storm nerf right here. Link below to that video if you have no idea about that nerf. But yeah, because of that nerf right there, guys, as well as the overall colorblind nerf in general, Mongrel decided to turn off the colorblind mode completely. Some of you will already know about this, as I did do a video talking about it when it did obviously happen, which wasn't too long ago. But I will leave a link to that video if you guys haven't seen it yet, so you can get all up to speed. Since that video right there though guys, still to this day Mongrel does not use any sort of colorblind mode. For his graphics quality options, he's got everything in here, turned off slash turned to low, except his view distance. That's actually set to medium in order to give him a slight advantage in game. If you guys have no idea about this advantage, what it is is if you do go ahead to put your view distance to medium, sometimes in Fortnite, certain game objects like things like sort of hair bills and stuff like that, sometimes they will not render in on this specific view distance. So because of that right there, sometimes you can see enemies that are hiding behind them, as that object obviously hasn't rendered in. And then for the final video setting, that is advanced graphics. For these guys, Mongrel has got his V-Sync turned off, his motion blur is turned off, his short FPS is turned on, his DirectX version is set to 11, his allow multi-threaded rendering option is turned on, and for the rest of the newish settings that you can see on screen right here, he's got all of those turned off. Next up is Mongrel's game settings. For these, most of the settings in here are mostly set to default, however since I am here guys I'll quickly go over them all for you. For these, he's got his sprint by default option turned on, his auto sword consumables to the right option is turned on as well, his confirm edit on release is turned off, and his tap to search is turned on. Next is Mongrel's hood settings. For these, he's got his hood currently set at 60%, and for the rest of these settings slash options on screen, he has all of these turned on, except the pickup loot stream, the map slash backpack keys, the quest progress, the vehicle controls, and the creative performance stats. All of those right there that I just mentioned, those are turned off. 
Next up, we've got Mongrel's newest sensitivity changes, as well as his mouse settings. For these, his sensitivities are currently set to the following. His X and Y sense have both now been updated to 9%, and his targeting and scope sensors have been updated too, and those are both on 30%. Also, for those wondering, his current mouse DPI is set at 800 DPI, his pollen rate is set at 1000 Hz, and his windows sensitivity is now set to the default tick, which is the sixth tick. Aside from those two, by the way, Mongrel has mouse acceleration turned off both in game and in the in game config. Next, we've got Mongrel's audio settings. For these, his music is on zero, and the rest of them are maxed out. The reason for why he's maxed all these out, guys aka set them all to 100% is actually because they are controlled via his equalizer program and his windows bass boost settings. That's right, if you didn't know already, Mongrel has modified his Fortnite audio to make certain in-game sound elements in Fortnite stand out more over other sounds via doing two different methods. The first method is using an equalizer program called Equalizer APO. I've got that method on screen by the way, I'll leave a link to that specific video that I made in the description below. Once you've checked out that video that I'll leave in the description, it'll make your game sound like this. And then for the other method, which is the Windows Bass Boost Sound method, for this he changed some Windows settings, I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the description below. After doing that one, your in-game sound will sound like this. And yeah, as you heard right there guys, from both of those methods on screen, what they do is they affect certain elements in Fortnite. Like if you take footsteps for example, these will be louder and will stand out a lot more than other sound elements in the game, such as background noise. So if that sounds like something you want your game to sound like, then be sure to follow both of these tutorials on screen. You can either use one of them, or both of them together guys. Whichever you use, they'll both help you out a ton. Moving on, let's check out all of Mongrel's new and current keybinds. For his movement keybinds, as you can see on screen here, they're all default. However, you will notice that he's got two different keybinds set up to move left and to move right. For his left movement, that's bound to A and V. And then for his right movement, he's got D and B bound to that. The reason for why he's got this, guys, is so that Mongrel can have controller movement on his mouse and keyboard, which means he'll be able to move diagonally in-game. For more information on this and how to set it up for yourselves, guys, I recommend checking out this video on screen right here. I'll leave a link in the description below. For his building keybinds, he's got his wall, stairs and floor all bound to the side mouse buttons on his mouse. His roof is bound to left shift and his trap is bound to C. Quickly, before we do move on to the rest of Mongrel's keybinds, I want to just explain how to get all the mouse buttons set up on the G402. To do this exactly how Mongrel's done it, you firstly want to bind all the binds you can do. So for the mouse button 5, you want to bind that one to the wall, and then for the mouse button 4, you want to bind that one to the stairs. Then moving on to the other mouse button, which is the DPI button. For this one guys, you can't actually bind that one as an input on its own. So if you do go ahead to try and bind it to your floor bind, you can't as Fortnite will not register that as an input. So to get around this, we're going to do what Mongrel has done. And what he's done is he's went into his Logitech software and he's bound this sort of DPI button on his mouse. He's bound that to N. After doing that, he's went back into his Fortnite keybinds and he's assigned the N button to his floor in Fortnite. So now when you do go ahead and press that DPI button on your G402 mouse, you will now get the floor keybind activated in-game. It's really as simple as that. For his loadout keybinds, he's got his pickaxe now on Q, his slot 1 is on 2, his slot 2 is on E, his slot 3 is on R, his slot 4 is on 4, and his slot 5 is bound to X. And then for the rest of his keybinds, he's got his interact key now only bound to mouse wheel up, his edit key is on F, his inventory is bound to left alt, on the cursor mode. By the way, if you guys don't know about the cursor mode, 
it essentially allows you to hold the keybind down instead of toggling it. Also, while we are quickly talking about Mongol's inventory key right here, you guys have probably noticed on stream that his cursor is a black cross. The reason why that is, is because Mongrel has started using a custom cursor in Windows. If you guys want the exact same cursor that Mongrel's got right here, I recommend you all check out my tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description below. Going back to his keybinds, his crouch is set to left control, which by the way for this, he uses this keybind to perform a certain type of fast crouching in game to give himself an advantage. To find more about that advantage, I'll leave a link to my video in the description below. And going back to his keybinds yet again, his map is on M, his reload is on the mouse wheel button, his rotate is on 5, his repair is on 1, his emote key is on F1, his auto run key is on the right bracket key, and he's got his push to talk button now on F4. Also, if you weren't aware already, Mongrel uses the mouse wheel reset edit trick, which the keybinds for that are on screen right now. As you can see, he uses the mouse wheel down for both of these binds. Next up, let's now take a look at how Mongrel holds his mouse and how he positions his mouse and keyboard. Starting off with his mouse grip, as you can see from the picture on screen right now, Mongrel is using a mixed grip of palm and claw. And then for his mouse and keyboard positioning, you guys can see here from a picture of his setup, you can see that he has his keyboard fairly rotated to nearly like a fully vertical angle. And you can see that his mouse pad and mouse are moved up right next to it. The reason for why it's positioned in this way is so that Mongrel can get as much mouse room as possible. As you can see from his keyboard positioning right here, this gives him so much mouse room, he pretty much has his full mouse pad to himself. Which is really ideal when you do play it on such a low sensitivity, you need all the mouse room you can get. Next, these are all the NVIDIA settings that Mongrel is currently using. As you can see for these guys, I've put two types of NVIDIA settings that Mongrel alternates between. I thought I would mention both of them, as like I said, he switches between both of them now and then. Moving on, let's now take a look at Mongrel's setup, as well as take a look at all the peripherals that he's currently using at the minute as we speak. So, to start off with his setup, this is it on screen right here. As you can see, this is what it used to look like a long time ago, and this is what it looks like right now as we speak. I must say guys, this is quite an improvement at the very least. And then for Mongrel's peripherals, he's got quite a few, so I'll quickly just list them out as fast as possible. For his mouse, he's using the Logitech G402. His mouse bungee is the Zowie Kamei 2 in the colour pink. His mouse pad is the Ink Gaming Extended XL in a custom Dragon Lore design. That is a new mouse pad by the way. To see more about the mouse pad itself, and to see exactly how you can get this one for yourselves at home, be sure to check out this video in the description. His keyboard is the SteelSeries Apex Pro in the size 10 key less, which this uses Omnipoint switches, configured at the fastest speed of only 0.4mm. For his monitor setup, he's currently only using two monitors. The first one is a BenQ Zowie XL2540 240Hz monitor, that one right there is his main monitor. And then for his second monitor, number two, that one is the Asus XF250Q, which that one is also a 240Hz monitor. His headset is a SteelSeries Arctis Pro. For his microphone, Mongrel alternates between two different ones. He's either using the Blue Yeti Nano or the ModMic USB headset attachment. His desk is the IKEA Tingby table. His webcams are two Logitech Brios. And for Mongrel's chair, he's still using his old Secret Lab Omega chair from his old team, Team Secret. And yeah, that's all of Mongrel's peripherals right there covered. Now let's take a look at all of his gaming PC specs and all of his streaming PC specs. And yeah, that is everything I've got for today regarding Mongrel. If this video was helpful, then be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and use Code Life in the item shop. Really does help me out a ton, and I really, really would appreciate it.
Also, if Mongrel does change anything else in the future after this video has went live, I'll be sure to let all of you guys know in my pro player update series. So yeah, for more information about Mongrel, updates and all that stuff, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's free, it helps me out, and I really would appreciate it. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.